Hello, this is Dr. Dave Gatros, Florida State University, Department of Computer Science. We're uh, continuing our discussion of editors and Emacs. Uh, we did Emacs on the Mac. We showed you what that looked like, but this is on a PC. And I want to show you a little difference about PC. We're going to do a full screen version of Emacs, which is what I like to do. In order to do that, you need to have a piece of software. And we'll go and I'll show you what that is. It's called Xming. It's one of many that will do it. And you can go out and search for this uh, product and uh, execute it. I'm just going to start it. Now it just starts it in the background. And what that does is um, it uh, shows us uh, Xming is working. Uh, it allows us to do tunneling. Now that's very important when you're doing a full screen editor. When you're doing a full screen editor and you want to use the mouse, there's a lot of communication that has to happen back and forth between you and the server to move the mouse and do the graphics. And that requires that piece of software. So now we're going to bring up Bitvice. Okay. Now uh, you have a lot of options up here. SSH, CST, Services, um, uh, SSH, Remote Desktop, uh, Terminal. And you look in Terminal, you'll notice that I have X Forwarding enabled. This is what allows us to actually communicate to the server and use those mouse movements. So that has to be turned on. Now we're going to go to our login. I'm going to go to Diablo. You're going to go to Shell. I'll say login. I get rid of my opening banner. The screen comes up. Now let's go into our area of CD public classes, COP3353, and then editors, clear, and there are our files that we have out there. Now I'm going to uh, edit uh, road.txt, but I'm going to use Emacs. But since I've got tunneling turned on and I've got that Xming software, something different a little bit happens. I'm going to say Emacs road.txt and I'm going to put this process in the background which means I can do both the uh, Unix operating system and manage the files and edit at the same time. So I've got two screens. So that's the and sign. You know, see when I hit that it says there's my process and it brings up road.txt. Now you'll see that it looks different than the um, one that we did on the Mac. It allows me to actually uh, highlight things with the mouse, edit, I can say copy, I can say paste. It looks like a full screen editor. This requires a little bit higher speed network than you would normally have in the uh, the non-version of this. Uh, let me get on, let's correct that one. Um, the uh, uh, edit file, file save, all this works. It looks like a like a Word or a WordPad uh, editor. And uh, for those of you who you know don't like the keyboard commands and you're on a high-speed network, then and this is a this is a great alternative. The command keys still work, so uh, you still have the option of using the old keystroke commands, or you have the option of using the mouse like maybe you're used to using. All right, very good. Well, we'll save this. Uh, file save. Okay, and file exit Emacs, and there we have it. We're done. All right, well, that's the full screen version of Emacs.